Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Finding a job on LinkedIn is a job in itself. Be it as a fresher or an experienced professional. We all agree that there is no defined process to which guarantees of getting a job via LinkedIn. Today, in this video, we'll be seeing how to optimize your profile on LinkedIn such that LinkedIn recruiters approach you for a role which you are looking for. So, Without further delay, let's get started. Wait, wait. Before starting, make sure you have subscribed to my channel to see more such amazing content in the future. Now, let's begin. I have segregated this video into do's and don'ts and then my two cents advice as conclusion. So, Starting with the do's part first, your profile should have all star status on LinkedIn. You need to add location, industry, education, summary, profile photo, current position and 5 relevant skill to your LinkedIn profile. On screen you can see the benefits of all star profile. People with all star sees more relevant feed updates and receive more profile views. On your profile, you will see this box which is private to you that tells your present profile status. Make sure you are adding all sections to you attract recruiters on your profile. Hopping on to the second point, profile banner plays an important role on your profile. It is the first thing we see whenever we visit any profile. It should leave an everlasting impression else your profile will not shine in the bundle of profiles which a recruiter is visiting. Here are some of the points to keep in mind. Make a custom banner as per your profile. Use applications like Canva to customize. If not customized, then use something that resembles your profile. Your profile should not look like this, rather it should look something like this. Hopping on to the next important point in the list is Summary. Summary is where you write about your years of experience, about the industries you have worked in, skills, be it soft skills or hard skills you have attained over a period of time, and achievements. People do also mention their contact information for the people who might want to connect after reading your summary. Next point is quite critical when it comes to recruiters finding you from their search page. It is Skill Assessment. Skill assessments are 15 minutes test developed by experts. If you pass, you'll earn a badge for your profile. Here is an effective method to do so. Take jobs you are aiming for, note down the skills needed. If those skills have a skill quiz, pass it with a badge. This is how once you earn a badge will look onto your profile. Here are some important points regarding skill assessment. You'll get 1.5 minutes to answer a question in general. In case you think you will need more time, you can turn on the accessibility mode while starting your test. Then you'll get 4.5 minutes for each question. Also. You can practice in case you want to get familiar with the format of skill assessment test. Next, I'll be showing you a view from a recruiter's profile that how does their search screen looks like through which they find ideal candidates for a job. If you look at this screenshot closely, you will find present job title, locations, skills, year of graduation and schools makes a difference while a recruiter is searching for an ideal candidate. So make sure you get those things right as per your target job. Congratulations for making it up to here. Now we'll be discussing things you need to avoid while using LinkedIn platform. First thing to avoid is commenting interested at each and every post you see from recruiter or just a normal post by anyone. These comments are quite useless and can be seen most often on the platform. Secondly, avoid heavy usage of buzzwords in your summary, experience 
or in any normal post you make. Using KISS principle will always help you on the platform. Third thing to avoid is not being active. If you are on LinkedIn but never post anything, you probably aren't getting any value out of the platform. If you don't engage with others, it will never be a valuable asset that you want it to be. Fourth thing to avoid is not including personal information for recruiters to reach out. LinkedIn gives you place in your profile to include volunteer work and causes you believe in. People like to work with socially minded people. Take time to complete that section. Be careful that you are not too political and you avoid controversy on the platform. Thanks for making it up to here. I'll be sharing my advice in this section. The only thing that I want you to note is that this is not a sponsored opinion, so be rest assured. Let's begin. LinkedIn is a great platform to find whatever you are looking for. Be it a job, want to sell your services or create content for your professional network. If all the features are used judiciously, you'll see in some time that you are getting results from the same. Start working on it from today itself. Also, keep updating your profile frequently. The portals are designed to keep the active people up in the queue. Send cold emails to the recruiters who are hiring people for similar profiles. Keep doing it until you get success. If you are not getting any calls, there can only be two things which can be wrong. First is, there are no openings for your job roles, which is highly unlikely. And the second point is, your resume isn't a winning one. Get help on the same. You can drop your questions in the comment section and I'll get back to you on the same. If you have some specific questions that is unanswered in this video and you want to keep it personal, you can use the top mate link in the description to connect with me for one to one sessions at a very nominal cost. That minimal cost is applicable to eliminate people who are not serious while opting for one to one sessions. Also. I would really appreciate if you could drop your valuable feedback in the comment section below. Till then, keep learning, keep grinding and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such updates. I'll see you in the next video.